Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks Xbox Edition. I am Knight in Phoenix. Today we're taking out the Type 58 Chinese Tier 6 Medium Tank. Um, this is the very first game. It is stock. Uh, map is Arctic Region Snow. Standard battle. We are top tier. Um, so we're going to sit here for the first minute of the game here and just check out the tank. We're Obviously, looking at the gun elevation and depression here, um, gun depression, it looks like it almost doesn't exist. The elevation, uh, there's some, but it's not impressive. Next, we just kind of look at the uh, bloom on the aim and at the same time, kind of the turret rotation. Turret rotates pretty good, it, it's not bad. Uh, track traverse, the, the tank turns reasonably well. Um, the get up and go, meh. It's all right. I mean, a little underpowered there, but uh, once it gets going, it reaches a pretty decent speed. You'll see in a moment here as we go downhill, we do get some pretty good speeds here, so uh, there is no governor on here. Uh, governor, for those who don't know, would be a, a speed restrictor. Now, where I'm going here is probably not the best place for a gun or, or, or a tank with uh, poor gun depression, but I do have coated optics on here. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of that. If I can't shoot anything, maybe I can spot them, light them up for uh, the rest of our team. So, what, minute 20 seconds into the game, in my opinion, we have way too many tanks still back there by our flag. Alright, so we come up over the ridge here and we do detect three vehicles. So the uh, coated optics are definitely a benefit here. Thing is, there's still a lot of enemy tanks that we just don't know where they are yet. It's a little hard to tell. Do we have enough tanks on our flank here to, um, well, say not lose it? Uh, I did hear the already. It sounded like it was to my right, so uh, they're they got one artillery. He's obviously looking at uh, our road already. Pretty typical for this map. Oh yeah, this is, like I say, this is a stock tank. This is the very first time I've played it. Um, I brought my crew from the uh, previous tank, which was a, what the Type 34. So we're currently only at 30 f or 75 uh, percent. We lost a friendly vehicle. We moved the crew over using silver instead of gold. All right, so my first opportunity to shoot uh, Jagdpanzer 4. Um, it does bounce. Now, in this spot, you can actually improve your gun depression a little bit. Going up here a little bit more to the left of where I'm looking here. Um, you know, if you try to drive straight up over the ridge here, you just don't have the depression. But if you go a little bit left, there's a little bit of a slope, which will actually turn your tilt your tank to the right, which will lower your gun a little bit. Now, that does expose quite a bit of your tank, but it, it can work if you just need that gun depression and you're not all that concerned about being shot. I mean, right now, obviously, I've got at least two tanks that I think are looking at me. Right at so I certainly don't need to drive up there and uh, take a couple of shots in the side. And, again, um, first game, I have no idea what this thing will or won't bounce. You know, when you look at the statistics in the garage, it gives you the... Um, the plate armor, the physical thickness of the armor, but it doesn't take into consideration uh, any type of angling. So, I mean, that was kind of encouraging right there. You can see I took two shots and they both bounced off my turret. At the same time, I was able to put in a shot that penetrated. Um, so, for the time being, we're just going to sit here and work this spot, get some uh, assisted damage, which we're getting from uh, our artillery here. Um, the rest of the team who are, well, there's not really that much left up here on the road with me. Um, they don't seem to be penetrating anything. I'm not getting any assist from them. And looking at the mini-map, I see at least three, if not four, um, enemy who are going to probably rush me pretty quick here. Knowing there's only one other medium up here. Alright, so KV-85 does get tired of sitting up there and he decides he is going to rush me. We're going to exchange some fire does try to ram me, doesn't seem to do any damage, so at this point I figure, hey, look, something's shiny. Whoops, you missed me. Look, there it is again, buddy. Oop, missed me again. Yeah, sucks to be you, huh? <laughs> but basically at this point I look at it, uh, here comes the rest of their team. I really have no support. Um, I'm going down swinging. 
Now you're gonna mess up my brand new tank. I am gonna put some hurt on you first. So the ARL V39 doesn't seem to mind being shot, so I will just sit here and shoot him as best I can. Come on, reload. There we go. <laughs> and uh, you heard the guy. I I'm scrap. I was just completely overwhelmed there. But you know that's how it goes. You don't know exactly sure how a new tank is going to play. You, know, you can watch videos on it, but you never know until you get into it. How is it going to actually play for you? Yeah, and at this point I'm reasonably um, pleased with how it performed. Um, I did bounce a couple of shots. I uh, penned most of what I shot. At, at no point did I feel like I needed to switch to premium ammo. And it's probably likely that um, if I would have had a little bit more support on that flank, uh, we'd still be alive doing something, either just spotting or maybe doing some more damage. You know, I could mention that there's a medium tank sitting up there by our flag doing nothing at this point. There's also a tank destroyer up there by our flag doing nothing at this point. I can understand the tank destroyer going to that position in the beginning. But once the flanks or the center is, is cleared out, which usually happens pretty quick, everybody either ends up into the south or northern flanks, um, you need to reposition. Oh, and this was uh, rather humorous. I have to feel sorry for this uh, D1 Heavy. <laughs> he um, has himself in a good, in a decent position, he, you know, taking some shots there. And and the arty in one last defiant shot got it off <laughs> and took him out. All right, so we'll uh, take a quick look at the uh, post-game stats. Very first game ever in this tank. Uh, 22,000 silver, just under 2,900 experience, 1,208 damage, 218 assists, 350 blocked. Uh, we did get two kills, and there is a uh, third-class mastery badge. So not quite double, but pretty close to double my uh, hit points and damage that I dealt out and two kills. So I I'm pleased. Third place. Alrighty, so that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you would click the like button. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You will get notifications from YouTube when I post new videos. And as always, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.